Hello guys, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So this is the first video in the Instagram clone series. So this one we're gonna go ahead and start building out the front end parts of the project. As you all know, I usually go ahead and build out my templates before I actually start working on the back end for you guys. So that's exactly what I've done. Now if you come over here to the um, to this folder as you can see i already have this templates over here i've peeled them out already now let's go ahead and see what it look like so first off we have the login page and as you can see this is what it's looking like not bad just like instagram's login page and over here too we have the um like the index page the home page where we're going to list out stories where we're going to search for users um i know that's like the navigation bars and where we're going to list out posts and slides and all that so um that's pretty much what we have for the home page now the profile page also looks like this now we have the picture the post those are the user posts and there's also going to be like the user saved post and the following and all that so as you can see this is what we have for the template and without wasting any more time let's just go ahead and start um, working with building out the project so I'm just gonna close out all the tab and I'm gonna open up either comment prompt or git cmd okay let me just open up git cmd they all work the same way now I'm gonna head over to my desktop CD into desktop and I'm gonna make a new um, I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it Instagram clone so I'm gonna say mkdir insta or let me just say insta clone yeah something like that and as you can see over here there's now a folder called insta clone so i'm going to go to insta insta clone i'm going to go into it and in there i'm going to make a django project so i'm going to say django dash admin starts starts project and we're going to name this project um let's say maybe igprj that's instagram project and hit enter on our keyboard and we should give this like a couple sec you should go ahead and successfully create the projects for us okay as you can see when you open up this folder now you can see we now have something in there okay so we need to go into the project which is igprj and while in the project we want to make a new app so we're going to say python manage.py start app and we're going to call the first app post so we're going to have a lot of apps for example let's say we want to um add a comments feature we're going to create a comment app for it let's say we want to have a messaging feature we're going to create a messaging app for it and let's say we want to have an authentication feature where users can log in and log out we're also going to do exactly the same thing by creating an app for it so as you can see now we now have an application for the post so that's pretty much what we want now let's go ahead and clear this terminal and finally let's run the server and see what we've got so python manage.py run server as you can see our server is running on port 8000 over here now i'm gonna head over to my browser of choice you can head over to mozilla firefox chrome or whatever now i'm using chrome so when we hit enter on our keyboard you can see it's opening this up over here so you see it says the install worked successfully congratulations now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open up a code editor you can open up visual studio code you can open up um whatever you want sublime text and in, in this case i'll be using sublime text i prefer using visual studio code but yeah i want to just change up my code editors that i've been using for a while i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and use sublime text for this tutorial so i'm just gonna drag in this folder into sublime text and as you can see we have it over here i'm gonna go ahead and remove this other folder that's there okay so now the first thing we want to do is open up igprj let me zoom in i don't know if you can actually see this let me see if i can zoom in from here um okay i don't know maybe you can zoom in from there yeah i just started using sublime text yesterday i don't know much things about it yet okay so let's just go ahead and keep working now in the settings.py we want to do a couple of things for example we want to import os which is going to help us join some of the basic directory style we're going to be joining for example like the templates the static and all that so down here we also want to install our application that we that we install oh sorry that's supposed to be post so you remember we created an app post so all we need to do is come over here and install it now the next thing we want to do is join our base directory with our templates folder so we're going to say os.path.join and we're going to join base directory with templates so the name is going to be templates okay so you know i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel and almost all the videos i talk about this explain it in depth so i'm sure by now you should have understood what all this are doing so this is simply gonna join the base directory with a template folder so when we create any index.html home.html in this template it's gonna know that hey that's where the templates are so that's what exactly it does okay so moving on to the next thing so the next thing we're gonna do now is simply add up some static roots um 
links and all that i don't know if that's supposed to be called a link or let's say configurations yeah that's right what i'm i was supposed to use so i already have um this build out in my other videos so no need of wasting time i'm just gonna copy it from um one of the source code and i'm gonna paste it in here but for now i think i'm gonna get rid of the i'm gonna get uh, okay let's just make it empty so I'm going to make this empty, make this empty, and so I'm going to make this one empty. Okay, so you can see we have crispy templates back. It's going to Bootstrap 4, so um, we set it to Bootstrap 4. So we that actually means that we need to install this. So we're going to come over here and say crispy underscore forms. I hope that's what I actually called it. Let me come over here and see. As you can see, it's crispy underscore forms okay that's it's crispy underscore forms yeah that's pretty much what we want to do for the settings.py if there is any other thing that we're going to do definitely we're going to come back and do it okay so let's go ahead and create um, a new view so that we can override this this um, dummy page over here now what we need to do is come over to post come over to views and we will be creating a view and in this project we're going to be using function based view as if you're a beginner or if you're trying to know like what happens in the hoop um, while coding in Django, as you all know, Django um, supports fast and rapid development of web apps. So if you want to actually know what really, really happens and why this happens the way it's supposed to happen, then I'd recommend you use function based view. And that's what we'll be using in this in this course. So you would actually know like how to do a lot of things in Django yourself, not like let Django do it for you. Okay, so I'm simply gonna return. I'm gonna uh, re return render and I'm gonna pass in a request in there. So our template is an index.html. So now when we come over here and refresh, nothing is gonna happen. That's because we need to create a URL that's gonna override this one over here. So what we need to do is come over to the post, right click, click on new file, save this file, and we're gonna call it urls.py. So what we need to do in here is say from django.urls, we need to import parts and from post.views, we need to import, um, let's say, um, actually, let's just say from post import views. So from this post app, we are importing everything that we created in the views. So we have this index over here. Hopefully you understand. Now, what we're going to say is URL patterns. And when we're going to set this URL patterns to, um, to a path. Okay, that's supposed to be a lowercase path. And this path is going to have an empty string, meaning that we want to override this like this dummy page over here. Now the next thing we're gonna have is views.index. So you remember we created that in the in the views.py and we're also gonna call this index. Okay, so if you're a beginner, um, this video should be more advanced for you. I'd recommend you actually go ahead and take my blog um, Django blog project. That one is actually going to explain everything that you need to know, or you can rather take my complete Django course. So, but if you don't want to take any of that, trust me, I'm still going to be explaining everything in a way that you're going to understand. I try my possible best to make sure that I explain what everything does. So you, so we don't just come over here and type code and you don't understand what to do. So I'll go ahead and explain this. Okay. So this URL sim is simply going to help us overwrite this place. Now, if we come over here and I want to refresh, nothing is going to happen. That's because we need to register this URL in the main URL. It's just like um, this URL over here needs to be somewhere before this one over here is going to work. So what we need to do is come over to IGPRJ, open up URLs.py, and we're simply going to come over here and let's say we want to include. Okay, let me actually check if I'm actually recording now because um, last night I actually talked for two hours without pressing the record button. Oh, yeah, I felt like breaking my PC. Okay back to business. So we include and over here, what we need to do is call parts and we need to include the URLs.py that we created over here in this post. You remember this one that we created? So we need to include it. Now what we need to say is include and we need to pass in post.urls just like that. And now when we come over here and refresh, let's see when we come over here and refresh, what do you notice? It's working, but it says template is not found. Template doesn't exist at index at this place. And the name of the template is supposed to be index.html. So head over here, come over to IGPRJ, close this up. Now, just right here, we need to right click and create and uh, not open a folder. Rather, we need to right click and create a new folder and we're going to name it templates. 
okay just like that let's give it a sec or two you should go ahead and create out the template for us hey where is the template i can i can't find it okay let's open this up yeah sure close this okay that's its template i think it should be here right now yeah so in here now we need to create a new file in this template we need to create a new file and we're gonna call it index.html okay so if you're using sublime text you need to press ctrl s for it to pop out that stuff where you're gonna type index.html but if you're using visual studio code it's automatically give you the option to change the name when you want to create a file okay index.html come over here now and refresh what do you notice empty page so it's working now let's just say um we want to say um some like Okay, let's just add a H1 and we're gonna say working. Okay, now when we refresh, as you can see, working. So we're gonna get rid of this now, and what we want to do is start configuring our our templates. So I'm gonna come over here. This is where I stored the templates. I'm gonna open up the I'm gonna open up the the uh, should we work with okay yeah let's look let's work with the index first of all so i'm gonna copy all the code and i'm gonna come over here and paste it or if you don't want to copy the code and paste you can just drag the template and drop it there so with this now when i when i come over here and refresh this is what we have not looking good at all but the structure is out already so what we need to do is go ahead and configure the the styling and the js okay so i'm just gonna minimize this so we see what we're doing so we need to make this work and we need to make this work so in order to do that we need to come over here right click create a new folder and we're gonna name this one static just like that and hit enter as you can see we now have static so what we need to do is come over here open up this push it to this part open this up push it to this part and I'm gonna come over to templates come over here open this up open up static now in the static that's where I'm gonna place all this all this assets okay before that let's copy this two and put it in assets one okay hopefully you understand I'm gonna copy assets one assets two and assets three I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it in here so in Django if you haven't following along with my other tutorials you'd know that Django doesn't just recognize this stuff that you just pass in href style.css it's actually want to link back to the static page and and call this so hopefully you understand if you have taken other courses that I have on my YouTube channel they are free you can go ahead and take them so now what we need to do is just come over here and we're gonna add a template tag firstly we're gonna call this static and remember it's an assets one slash style dot CSS and we're gonna end this off just like that okay so with this now when we come over here and refresh we're gonna get an error it says invalid this did you forget to register or load the tag so I just did that on purpose because I want to show you guys how to load static so with this now let's refresh and see what we've got yeah working pretty fine okay so this is where everything is working from let's say i want to add up one letter here to make everything get messed up you see it's not working any longer so with that now it's working perfectly well okay so with this now i think we are pretty much done setting up the index.html now the next thing we can do is just go ahead and configure maybe a picture or two so you can see how configuring images work so over here i'm gonna configure let's say let's say i'm gonna configure this one and let me just do another one let's say that and this now i'm gonna open up template tag add, a, add that over there and i'm gonna close this template tag off just like that okay so when we refresh now you can see this and this now have a picture okay now what we're supposed to do is make sure that this navbar shows up on all the pages let's make sure it shows up on the login page make sure it shows up on the where is it supposed to show up on the detail page and all that so in order to do that okay i think on instagram the navbar doesn't show up on the login page the login page just shows up like that okay so that's exactly what we're gonna do okay so what we need to do is come over to template i'm gonna create a new file save this and we call it base.html so with this now we have base.html back to the index.html we want to copy everything that's in the header so i'm gonna search header and i'm gonna look for where the header ends so uh, we need to look for where the, the header ends okay this is the header search this is that this is that okay the header ends here so i'm going to copy everything in the header just like this and i'm going to put it in base.html and make sure that you add an, a block block 
okay what am i doing block content and we want to add an end block content so whatever that goes in between this block content and end block content in any of the other pages that we're going to be creating is what's going to show up hopefully you understand okay so with this now let's make sure we are still loading static in the you know what is it called the index.html okay so as you can see this is working like this now but it's it's just way too ugly and that's because our our styling now isn't based on html but our index.html isn't getting the styling so what we need to do is simply extend from where is it called base.html so we're gonna say extends from base.html just like that but as you can see it's just the header that's showing now the content is showing any longer that's why i told you that you're supposed to pass in block content on whatever you want to show up over here in this blank page so we add a block content over here and we want to make sure that we also copy the footer let's look for the the footer let's see let's see head down there okay i think the footer started from here uh, i'm just gonna get rid of um, should we get rid of the footer yeah let's just get rid of the footer and and down here we are just gonna add end block content okay so when we refresh what do you notice everything is working perfectly fine now let's go ahead and add just one more image to the to one of the posts and see how it's actually gonna look okay so um this is user nick so let's let's look for this responsive that and i'm gonna paste this in okay so as you can see this is the default user um okay 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 the post would load up automatically if we have an internet connection as you can see we don't have an internet connection so that's why the post is loading up but hopefully you understand what's going on now it's no longer running on on it's still running on our local pc but as you can see it's not running on a server on a local server it's no longer running on our local computer drive hopefully you understand so i think that should be it for this video i don't want it to be really really long and boring in the next one we're gonna go ahead and let's say create out the user authentication now this is working fine we're gonna create out uh, the user authentication so users can actually create accounts log in and log out so hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, consider subscribing, and also drop a comment if you have any issue. If you don't understand anything, I always reply to all my comments. I'm going to be there in the comment section to help you solve your issues or whatever you're encountering. In the meantime, mad love, peace out.